I'm doing a review on the Geckos 24 12 volt DC portable refrigerator freezer that I bought for my van, which I live in full time. Um, I have this thing hooked up to my uh, 100 watt uh, HQST solar system. I have a 27 DC marine battery that I use for my house battery, which is behind my inverter right here. Um, I have it directly hooked up to my marine battery with this adapter that I bought on Amazon. Uh, it's probably best way to do it instead of hooking up your AC to your inverter then then to your battery it's just it's wasteful power um, this is a 45 watt uh, compressor that's in here it works great it cycles probably every uh, 15 to 20 minutes it's running right now you can hear barely hear it I don't really hear it at night um, let me uh, just show you what it's all about uh, this cubby hole right underneath my pantry that I have here uh, was originally just a stock stock room for ramen and dry goods and you know some camping gear and stuff. So this worked out great. This is I think about uh, 20 20 inches wide. It's about 18 inches 18 19 inches tall, so it fit perfectly. You can see that it has a little space around there. I I made that so that this. Uh, has airflow for the compressor uh it's it can feel the air coming out of here so i try to keep this area clean with my vacuum uh it's best probably to uh make sure that there's no obstruction or uh, you know dirt and stuff that gets in there it's going to shorten the life of this refrigerator i have a dog she sheds and so i vacuum this area as much as i can so let me pull this out and show you what it's all about here is your control panel. Uh, you can see the pictures online right now. It's at 33 degrees. It just cycled through. Um, I have it set for 34 degrees. And the reason why I have it at set at 34 degrees is because of the fact I have eggs in there. It will freeze your eggs. So if I have a lot of meat in here, I'll, you know, freeze it. Uh, but this thing is amazing. And it does have a USB adapter right here. I don't really use it because I have adapters over there. So the main thing I wanted to show is actual the size of it. Um, it's kind of, you know, deceiving how big these things are. You know, you could say quartz or whatever, but in actuality, can it fit my beer? Can it fit my food? Um, I wanted to go with a 30 quart, but this 23 quart is a perfect size for this. So I wanted a 30 quart so I could only just go shopping once a week or twice, uh, twice a month. But right now, I shop pretty much uh, about every five days. And so let me show you the capacity in it. Obviously, I have booze. Um, these are my eggs. Uh, this is obviously booze. And you can tell this is, a you know, the size of this bottle and how it fits. That's, you know, for comparison. I have um, some solcheladas. They're the king cans. So that kind of gives you an idea. I've had fit four of them in here. I can fit a bunch of beer in here, but then I have no food. So I put some of this food in here. I'll show you what you can all put in here. But, um, yeah, it's a great fridge. It's got a light light right here. Uh, it works great at night. Uh, this thing here is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's got an ice cube tray. Uh, when I first turned this down, this thing froze up within 30 minutes so i only use this as like an ice pack i have uh like a little knapsack lunch bag that i'll put stuff in there and i'll put this uh this ice cube tray in it this thing is cheap it's gonna break so my next plan is to uh buy like a, at the dollar store an ice cube tray and just cut it to size it works great uh i have put a choco taco in there it freezes even though when I'm at uh, 34 degrees, it's still frozen in there. You can see that's frozen. Um, this thing is just badass. Um, it was $240 on Amazon. There's other brands are, uh, that are out there that, um, you know, they basically have the same uh, compressor and guts. Is From what I'm understanding, it's the same stuff from China. So 
uh, yeah, this is hard plastic. I wouldn't be taking this to the beach and beating it up. Make sure it's, you know, you take care of it. You know, it, it, for me, it was an investment. I had a really horrible refrigerator, but, uh, this thing works great. Um, as far as power usage, which is another thing because I'm off grid, I'm in my van. Um, it works great. Um, it draws down the battery, uh, fairly decent gets down to about 40 percent, but as soon as the sun comes up it starts charging like i said it doesn't run all the time like with these cheap refrigerators um <clears throat> so uh, like i said it cycles pretty much every 20 minutes uh it runs for about five minutes and it shuts off even when it's at the freezing um it does have an eco setting um i wish you can see it, it has an eco and then has a, a max um, as far as that, I don't really notice anything different. Um, and then you can see right here with the L, sorry with this, but the L, it has L, M, and, and, uh, I can't remember the other one, but it's basically your battery protection. And what that does is it will shut off. The freezer will shut off when it gets down to a certain percentage. Um, like anything, if you work off of 12 volts, I think it shuts off at about, uh, I can't remember, 11.5 which is, I think, around 30 or 40% of your battery. Well, since I have a house battery and I'm not running off my cranking battery, um, I have it on low, and so it's not going to kill my battery. I haven't had it shut off. It hasn't drawn my battery way down. Uh, my inverter shuts, uh, shuts off everything at, I think, 11 or 10.9. But uh, it never really gets with that. I, I do also have a backup system where I'm driving around. I have an isolator switch where I can actually charge off the uh, alternator too. And where I live, I live in the Southwest. I live in New Mexico. It's sunny here all the time, so I never really have any problems. But if I get rainy days or something like that, I will, you know, supplement the charge with driving around or whatever. But this is a fridge. I highly recommend it. I've had this thing for a couple months now. Um, it hasn't broke down. You know, it's, I'm always leery about buying stuff on Amazon. You know, it's an investment for me because I live in a van. But this has been awesome. Um, it's $240. There's a, uh, I think it's Epicool. They have a similar one. It's probably like $50 more. Like I said, it's the same guts. You know, if you're worried about the plastic breaking and stuff like that, maybe go with that one. But as far as I'm concerned, this is a great cooler. Um, and that's all. Hopefully this was a good uh, review. I, you know, everybody does all these unboxing videos, but w what's the purpose of that? I'm watching you unbox a box from Amazon. You know, I wanted to find out uh how how much room is in this and how well it works i don't see a lot of videos on it and that's why i did this one so um uh, happy vanning